hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another youtube video so guys today we're doing a miss pap haul i am so excited i cannot even tell you guys and um, we're doing my monthly miss pap haul if you guys are new here i'm actually a miss pap ambassador student ambassador which is honestly amazing i'm so grateful for and it means i get to pick out some clothes every month to bring you guys in a haul and also just to post and start on my instagram as well so all the items in this haul are kindly gifted although all opinions are my own and all the choices are my own as well i feel like miss pap is honestly the most underrated online store ever like literally I feel like if you would have shopped at Miss Pat maybe like two or three years ago, maybe even like four or five years ago, it is not the same store that it is now. Like they have so upped their game and I've seen it, so many people talk about this recently as well. I think Freya did a Miss Pat haul quite recently as well and she said the exact same thing. The quality, you cannot fault. The styles they do, like the curation of the fashion, it is honestly, it is insane. Like I cannot fault it and this haul, it's no exception guys i'm obsessed if you guys are new here then hi my name is bella I make a lot of fashion and lifestyle sort of content daily vlogs um sort of come shopping with me so that type of good content so if you're into that go and hit that subscribe button also follow me over my instagram account my handle is at bella stovey i'll pop that on the screen now for you along with a picture of my account um i already posted i think some of the items from this haul on there but not that many so a lot more to come and a lot more styling daily outfit images and inspo to come as well so definitely follow me over on there um just for sort of like daily updates and a little bit more insight into my life than you see on youtube as well so yeah if this is the first sort of like haul you've ever seen of mine the first video you've clicked on it of mine then i'm typically a uk size 8 to 10 um and i am 5 foot 9 slash 5 foot 10 in height so quite tall um just as a guideline of how the clothes are going to fit on me because i do know it can be really deceiving to sort of watch people try on clothes maybe even in your size but you don't really know their sort of measurements so that's going to be a good guide for you when picking out and choosing your sizes in these items as well okay guys so the first item we have we've gone for a blazer um if you've been here for a while you'll know my absolute love for blazers i'm honestly obsessed with them i think every single winter i probably add like two or three at least more to my collection if not more maybe even five or six yeah maybe even five or six um so i saw this gorgeous sort of like very light beigey it's sort of like a yellowy beige which i'm really here for um like oversized blazer on the website i think it's just absolutely stunning it's a really light sort of like breathable material um super good quality but it's not too thick so you can definitely wear this sort of all year round summer or winter um i'm just obsessed with this it's like a lovely sort of like brushed sort of linen sort of tone it literally feels like such like it literally feels like a designer suit like i can't even get over it um and i just love this i love blazers they're just so easy and so simple for autumn winter they look so lovely dressed up like i could easily wear this with a pair of jeans and heels like done up with a little bralette underneath uh, and i could go for drinks or you could just wear it with like a little crop top and joggers and trainers or you can just wear it with jeans and like a plain top and some trainers as well just sort of dress it down um it's just like so versatile blazers will always be a staple in my wardrobe and i feel like you guys you guys need to get this one yeah the fit is insane such a lovely oversized fit and i love the way it's like very oversized in the arms um that's something i really like look for when i get blazers and um, it's sometimes quite hard to find so very impressed with this one um i'm not quite sure how much this was but i will leave all of the prices and all of the sizes along with the link in the description box so you guys can shop them for yourself um but i did actually get this oversized blazer in a size 12 so i was actually normally if i want a really oversized blazer I'll probably go for like a 14 or even like a 16 because I do like them to be really big and boxy um, if they say they're not oversized. But because this one already comes slightly oversized, I would probably say only size up one size from your regular size because it might be like really big. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this. It's such a staple. I feel like I'm just going to keep this forever. Um, it's going to go for so much and I cannot wait to style it up. I did actually forget to say it as well. Um, all of the links in the description box that I'm going to leave for all the items are going to be affiliate links. Um, I will get quite a lot of questions about this as well. So we'll just clear it up. So basically an affiliate link means I will get a little bit of the commission, like a very small amount, if you guys do decide to purchase any of the items through the link. Um, so it would mean the world to me if you do decide to purchase any of these items, that you do it through the link, just so it helps me out as well. I'd be super, super grateful for that. So yeah, if you do decide to purchase anything from this haul, it will all be in the description box and it will be like easy, clickable links for you guys. There's no extra cost to you. I just sort of get a little bit of the commission as well. Okay guys, so the next item I picked up, I've gone for a satin skirt. Um, if you know me, you all know I love satin skirts anyway. Oh, I can't really see it very well on the hanger. Let me take it off. So yeah, if you guys know me well, I love a good satin skirt. I literally have them from Topshop in like every single colour. Um, but they're all sort of like just very plain. They're more like sort of daytime skirts, not really like dressy skirts. But this one I absolutely loved because you could dress it up or down. Um, so it's this olive colour, really like glossy, um, 
like satin skirt it's got a nice split at the side but it's not too high of a split it's quite a low a low split so you do see a little bit of leg but not too much excuse if there's stains on this because i literally wore this out all day yesterday and i actually had so many people come up to me and ask me where it was from so that must be a good sign that it looked nice um it's got like a lovely like ruched bit around like sort of the stomach area so if you do want to wear it on a meal you can ruche that up we can hide the food baby it's all good um and it's just like such a flattering skirt and when i looked at it i thought god that looks quite small like i got a normal i think i got a uk size 10 yeah my normal size and a size 10 but guys it's really stretchy like the the um satin it's not like a stiff satin it's so stretchy like it's going to be really really flattering um which is something i always just sort of like steer clear of sort of on fast fashion websites because sometimes they can be quite cheap and very sort of rigid but this one is super stretchy it's super flattering um i actually wore this just sort of styled with like a little top and some boots um but i would absolutely love this style as just a, sort of like a chunky knit jumper and boots i feel like it's just that gorgeous just sort of in between of like dressy and casual like i'm just loving that vibe at the moment and you'll see another one in a minute as well like a satin skirt um or you could literally go so dressy with this and wear a bralette and heels and you're gonna look insane so yeah i literally am obsessed with this the color is super unique as well so yeah i'm so here for this um like i said i've got uh, my normal size a uk size 10 and it fits perfectly so i love this so much i feel like it's gonna get so much use so guys the next item is actually a little bit of an unusual sort of choice for me um if you've been here sort of recently you will know i'm sort of like trying to go into like a sort of just sort of like a new style i feel like with my darker hair i can sort of go for those sort of more classic styles not just sort of like the edgy sort of street style which i normally stick to um so i've been trying to go for some more like sort of floral classic numbers so still giving them like sort of a trendy edge um but i have just sort of delved into that a little bit more just because i feel like it does suit me a bit more now than it did before um so i saw this dress on the website and i just thought the cut of it just looked absolutely stunning so it's this gorgeous just black it's very plain um it just goes in at the waist it's like a little mini dress um so it's sort of like that length it's not too short which i'm really appreciative of it's got a lovely puff sleeve um which is a really really flattering detail and also makes it look super expensive as well way more expensive than it probably was this was not expensive at all and um, it's got sort of like a high neck detail that does up at the back um although it's not too tight on the neck because i do know sometimes things that do up around the neck maybe i've just got a thick neck but i find them quite claustrophobic but this one is perfectly fine um and i absolutely love this like when i tried it on i was like oh my god this may be one of my favorite things from the haul and i really was not expecting it but i think the cut of it is just so flattering but instead of sort of like pairing this with sort of like the classic sort of like shoe i probably pair this with like my dr martins or sort of my lace-up boots just to give it sort of more grungy edge um because that's the way that i love to wear these dresses like floral dresses or pretty dresses with dms it's such an autumn vibe um so yeah i'm obsessed with this i think i got this in a uk 10 again i got this in a uk size 10 again so stay true to size and the sizing is perfect i feel like if you're on the shorter side as well still stay true to size because this like middle section where it's like the sheared panel you can sort of move that up and down because it's elasticated so if you did want it a little bit shorter if you're a little bit on the shorter side then you can definitely do that with this dress so yeah i'm obsessed with this um it's just such a lovely like just like autumn classic and i feel like this is so lorna Lux as well i feel like it's something lorna Lux would wear so yes i love this something a little bit different um i was actually like trying to sort of include different sort of items in my haul yeah let me know what you think about that one just because it is a little sort of like a little bit of a different style for me okay guys so next up we have sort of like an oversized i don't know if it's like a shirt or a blazer no, i think it's a shirt it's just sort of like an oversized taut pinstripe shirt um i saw this on the website and i was obsessed i really wanted like a really nice sort of shirt that you can wear as a dress or you can wear like over little mini dresses as like a shirt um and this is just the perfect oversized like shirt when i first saw it i was like mm, does it look a little bit like pajamas but when it was on when i sold it up with some boots like some heeled boots or some heels it just looks so dressy and it looks so expensive as well i think it's got like yeah it's got tortoise shell buttons on the front which i think was always such expensive like looking touch it's got two like nice pockets on the front it's sort of like a very boxy oversized fit like this is not figure flattering at all but i feel like it's just a nice alternative to like a fitted dress if you want to be sort of more comfortable if you want to go for a meal just want to wear like heels and a dress but you don't want to be too snug like it's just super super flattering and sort of like it's still flattering because you still see quite a lot of your leg um and just like a bit unusual as well if, like miss jocelyn would probably wear something like this um absolutely love it lissy roddy as well probably wear something like this but i absolutely love it you'll see it styled on the try on clip i actually think i got a picture in this the other day as well if it's gone live or not you will see it on the screen if not stay tuned on the instagram because i got a really nice pic in it 
Um, and then again, you could literally just wear this like undone, just with like a little white mini dress and some boots, and that would look super cute as well. Just sort of like a slouchy, oversized shirt. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of this. Such a neutral, lovely color. Um, the perfect autumnal transitional basic. Sorry guys, I just forgot to say, I actually picked this up in a size UK 12, which is one size up from my normal size. Um, like I said, I already think it said it was oversized in the description box. So if it ever says like on Miss Puppet it's already oversized, I'll probably only size up one like one size from your regular size, just because sometimes it can like drown you. Um, but the size of this is perfect. Um, I probably could have even gone like a size up or down, probably wouldn't have made much difference. And the length is still really good on me as well, so I'm tall. So maybe even just like stay to your true to your true size if you're on the shorter side, because it may be a little bit long for you if you size up. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, that's how it fits on me, and I got a size UK 12. So next up, we have the skirt of dreams, like the actual skirt of dreams. You probably don't see this very well until I show you guys on the try on clip. But I'm obsessed with this. Like I saw this on the website, and if I saw this just sort of hanging up in the shop, I probably wouldn't think anything of it. Like I would not know how to style it. I would just would sort of like walk past it. Um, and it wasn't until I saw it on the website, the way they'd styled it on the model, I've insert a picture on the screen. It just looks so stunning, like it just looked like it elevated the skirt so much and I just thought that's such an unusual way to sort of pair it and I thought well I really want to do that with some of my own like jumpers. So basically the model had it on with like a jumper and a pair of like knee high boots and I thought it just looked stunning. Um, so it's like this long white satin skirt, the same, that exact same material as that olive one and um, it has like two ruched side details. Um, and it has like a very high slit at the side, which I was a bit sceptical about, but the slit doesn't actually go too high, like you don't see anything, it's perfectly fine. Um, and when I first pulled this out of the bag, like if you guys do order this, it's going to look long, like it's going to look longer than a maxi dress. Like I put it on and I was like, who is this going to fit? Like this is so long, like it literally, I was walking on it and I'm 5 foot 10. Um, but basically you can ruche it up, so I was like, okay, it's fine. So where it, where it goes in at the side, you basically have to like hoist it up a lot to get it to be like this sort of ruched design when you first get it it's sort of like very flat so I was a bit confused but something to bear in mind if you do decide to pick it up and um, just like really ruche it up you can ruche it up literally as much as you want so if you're on the shorter side you can probably still get away with it if you do like pull it up a little bit more yeah, it's got a zip detail along the front so it'll be really flattering on the waist um, but like I said it's that like really stretchy satin it's not stiff at all so it's not going to get any sort of awkward lumps or bumps or be uncomfortable super comfortable um like I said I love this with the jumper and like knee, knee high boots for sort of autumn winter um all this would look gorgeous in the summer like imagine like if you're going on like a honeymoon or something or like a hen do and um, you want to wear like sort of like a white outfit i feel like it's just such a good outfit to wear like a little white bralette and heels insane like i'm obsessed with it so i think i'll be keeping this like to literally wear all year round it's gonna get so much use um i got this in a normal uk size 10 and the fit is perfect Okay guys, so next up, we have a little, another satin number, I've gone really like all out on satin, haven't I, for this haul. Um, this is actually like a very dressy, like evening top. I've wanted a top like this for so long, like literally for the longest time. Um, I think Topshop bought one out like this, like last year or the year before. Um, and I tried to sit up over my neck, I couldn't do it up, like I literally was like strangled. So I literally tried it in like really big size and it still, the neck just didn't fit me. So sort of gave up on the idea until I saw this on Miss Pap and I literally fell in love. I think the colour is just honestly stunning. It's this gorgeous like champagne silk colour. Um, it's sort of like a very warm, just like sort of beigey brown colour. Um, I'm so obsessed with it. Um, it does up at the back, it's got two little button details and it's just like an open back top um so it's just like a, it's like really flattering just because it shows a lot of your back um so yeah i was a little bit worried about the bra situation but if you're like don't have much like there then it will be fine because you don't literally see anything because there's so many like layers you can't even really see any nipple and because there's ruched as well like ruching you don't really see anything um but if you are sort of got like a larger chest maybe just buy like one of those little stick on front bras and you'll be perfectly fine um or if not you literally could probably wear nothing and still get away with it just some boob tape and it'll be all good. Um, but I love this just for like a drink or like a night out or for a meal with some jeans and heels, some leather leggings and heels. It's just like such a staple. They've done this type of top for years. Um, I feel like it's never going to go out of fashion and it's super flattering. I think they have this in lots of other colours as well. So definitely check it out because it's just such a good jeans and a nice top top, isn't it? It's literally the definition of a jeans and a nice top top. Um, so I actually got this in a size UK 10. Stay true to size and it fits perfectly. So... Yeah, stay true to size on this one. Um, it's just a really nice little classic basic. Okay, guys, so we're down to the final item. And you best believe I saved the best till last. I'm utterly obsessed. 
So guys, are you ready for the coat of actual dreams? It is literally stunning. So it's this gorgeous sort of like, it's sort of a cross between a teddy and a fur coat. Like it's not as like sort of soft as a fur coat, but it's not as bobbly as a teddy coat. Like it's somewhere in the middle, sort of like a, a teddy bear, but not a worn teddy bear, if that makes any sense. Um, But I am obsessed with this. Like this is gonna be my coat of the winter. Like I'm literally gonna live in this. It's this gorgeous beigey, whitey color. It's got a lovely thick, neckline um like the big lapels which is super flattering and sort of like a little folded over bit which you can fold up or down at the back the quality of this can i just say like it literally feels like a vintage like coat like that literally should be like 300 pounds like literally no joke um obviously it's faux fur but it just feels like such good quality like i can't get over it i'm pretty sure this was only around 50 pounds which is honestly insane for a coat like this so i don't think you'll get that anywhere else um obsessed it's got these gorgeous like little i think they're tortoise shell again yeah some tortoise shell buttons which i love sometimes on these sort of like fast fashion websites they can just put poppers on which i love that miss papa like gave them a bit more like attention to detail like they've gone for the tortoise shell button it just adds to that even more expensive look of the coat um so yeah it's pretty like full length i think it hits me just sort of just below the knee or like even a bit longer than that um so yeah it's a pretty long coat but i'm literally gonna be wrapped up in this all winter like i'm gonna be snuggling in this i literally want to put it on now and just drink my old grey tea like i'm obsessed can't wait until it's cold enough to actually wear it i'm literally gonna be living in this so yeah i picked this up in a size uk 10 um which is actually my normal size it said oversized already and on the model i think it says she wore a size 8 and it looked massive so i'm really glad i went for the 10 because it does fit um perfectly fine even on like the arms and stuff it's still very oversized oh pardon me burping again so yeah even like in my regular size it's still very oversized so i would just say go for your regular size in this maybe even size down if you're on the shorter side if you do want it a little bit shorter um if you want that really snugly just sort of oversized teddy fit stay true to size um if you do pick up one item from this haul and if you're on the lookout for like a really nice winter coat grab yourself this one because you will not regret it so guys that is the end of today's little miss pap haul um i hope you guys did enjoy it i feel like i am utterly obsessed with literally every single item in this haul like i cannot even tell you um i hope you guys are just as obsessed as i am um comment down below what your favorite item was and also if you um, do decide to purchase anything as inspiration from this video don't forget to use my affiliate link and also tag me in any instagram posts you do any youtube hauls you do which were inspired by this video so yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, also leave a comment, um, also turn on the bell if you do want to be notified when I next upload as well, um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys! Bye.